Actually, it's I don't have low testosterone. I pump iron all day! Oh yeah! All right, thanks, gym rat. Hey there, my name is Jason. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist or a sleep tech. Also the founder of freesleepappadvice.com. This channel and then our forum, freesleepappadvice.com forward slash forum. Please join if you haven't already. Couple little thingies let's talk about first. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. The other thing you can do if you really, really like us is visit our forum, which I already mentioned. And just like all the Girl Scout folk that are coming around, meeting you at the grocery store, meeting you in the parking lot, uh, home invasion robberies of Girl Scouts trying to sell you cookies. I had one the other day that broke into my house trying to sell me cookies. I'm doing the same thing. Not Definitely not as cute but I'm very much in need. So, that being said, if you could donate even a dollar at patreon.com forward slash free sleep free, <laughs> patreon.com forward slash free sleep app advice. Go there and pledge to us one or two bucks a month. That's hardly anything. If you could pledge that to us, we'd be greatly appreciated. We would greatly appreciate it, and we could continue making these rad videos. Now, I'm about to lose my studio, which is my house. I'm not losing it, I'm moving, but it's gonna take a while, so it could be tough. All right, here's the one I wanna talk about. Low testosterone. How does low testosterone relate to sleep apnea? Well, very much so. What happens with testosterone when you fall asleep is, uh, this is obviously generally for men, your testosterone levels will rise. Now, when you go into REM sleep, your testosterone levels will rise even more. So if you have sleep apnea and your sleep is constantly disrupted, especially during REM sleep, you can see where your testosterone levels are going to plummet uh, during normal waking hours and you know, say when you're tested for it, you're gonna have low T levels. Now, what most people will say is, hey, let's just give you testosterone replacement therapy. That's not exactly the right way to go about it. The right way to go about it because you're just treating a symptom instead of the actual cause. Whereas the actual cause of this is sleep apnea. So if you treat the sleep apnea, most likely over a period of time, you're gonna see the testosterone levels, the baseline levels rise to a normal level. So instead of treating the symptom, treat the cause, that being sleep apnea. So what I'm imploring you to do is speak to your doctor about it if you have low T, uh, testosterone, not testosterone, not the other San Francisco treat. I don't even know what that means. So after the age of about 30, you're gonna see a lot of people that have testosterone levels drop. It's not just older folks, like, you know, you're thinking like, uh, well, I, I just turned 40, so 40 is no longer old. So if you turn 50 and older, uh, that's what most people think of as old, not 40 year olds anymore. It's not just people that you'd consider old. Around 30, it starts to drop, and that's also kind of when sleep apnea starts to occur. Are the two, are the two related? Yeah, probably. So what you start to see with low testosterone is another thing that causes an increase in diabetes, but it also is related to an increase in obesity. What is obesity also related to? Sleep apnea. So you can kind of see where this double whammy is coming in. Um, I have nothing to share of any great importance other than sharing the link between low, test low, te <laughs> low T and sleep apnea. So this is something to discuss with your doctor. A lot of times you're gonna be seeing your primary care physician. They're not the best people to talk to about sleep apnea, but at least it will uh, put the question in their mind. There's plenty of um, articles uh, on um, a lot of government websites, which they tend to put, you know, have a little more credence with, um, that you'll be able to find this information and you'll also be able to print this out and take it into your doctor so they can see, hey, there's actually some literature on this. Uh, there's been some studies on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and send them to the sleep specialist or into a sleep study and possibly resolve it that way, which I think we can all agree is a better way. Treat the actual cause versus treating the symptom. All right, thanks for watching. Again, please like, please subscribe, and please, a little donation, pledge your support to us at patreon.com forward slash free CPAP advice or a little donation. It's, that's cool too, I like it, it's all good. Allows me to keep doing this stuff, allows me to devote more time to it.